Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today I'm going to do an updated removal for you using my Pro Tip Clips. Um, if you're not familiar with what these are, these are a, an easy removal system for all types of nail enhancements, as it says on the box. You can remove LED, UV gel, soakable gels, wraps, acrylics, glitter polishes and nail art in the professional way. So the Pro Tip Clips come in a set of 10. You can get um, manicure or pedicure set. This is my manicure set and the box is this box here which is just fitting in my screen so I'm not actually going to move it around. I'm just going to show you. I'm just going to open the lid. You've seen this before. It comes with instructions. I know this is a very sort of squashed up view but it is what it is. So I've already got five out so the clips look like this. So I'm just going to remove this box and show you the clips that I'm going to be using. Okay guys, just ignore the red stains. I've just done one hand, so I made a mess. Um, but the clips are here, so you get four clips the same size, which is these four here, and then you get a larger one for your thumb. Now there is a right way and a wrong way to pop these on. I'll show you, I'll show you now. So they're, they're put together by a little metal clasp. Um, it's like a little metal spring, which is adjustable for the tension. You literally just pop this off I'm not going to do it but you pop it off it's very easy you just push to the side it comes unclipped and then you can bend it to get better tension um, now inside the clip there is a right way to put these on and a wrong way so as I'm opening that up you'll notice the top is curved and the bottom has a flat panel now that is the correct way to pop them on so that the flat panel is underneath your finger and the curve is over your finger so if you're putting them on this way with the flat panel at the top it's wrong so as I said again the correct way if you see down there you can see that perfectly flat the flat panel pop it on like that okay guys so I just wanted to show you the type of cotton pad that I use because some girls are finding it a little bit difficult to remove because they are using the wrong type of cotton pad so I have two different ones to show you here. I have the round cosmetic pad that you can buy pretty much anywhere, chemist, supermarket, that type of thing. And as you will see, it's very thin. It's quite a thin pad. And the one that is here is another type of cosmetic pad. Again, I bought this from a pharmacy, but it's a lot thicker. So if we compare the two, you can see one is extremely thin and the other one is much, much thicker. Now, I use the thicker one. The thinner one doesn't seem to hold the removal product, whether it be the CND nourishing remover or acetone. It just doesn't, it evaporates too quickly and you don't get a good removal. With the thicker product, if I just zoom in there so you can actually see properly. So you can see it's, it's at least double the thickness. So we'll just chuck that one. And then this is what I use. So what I normally do is I get a pair of scissors and I'm trying to do this and keep it in the frame so I just cut three strips theoretically the same width and then with those three I cut them in three again so you'll get six um, little removal pads out of the one pad I should also mention cotton balls are no good. You need something that is able to sit on your nail around the free edge and be secured underneath your finger with a clip, which I'll show you in a minute because my last video, I actually managed to entirely delete that section. So it didn't actually show. So what I've got here is one of my clips, piece of cotton pad. I'm going to be using the CND Shellac Power Polish Nourishing Remover rather than the acetone because I just prefer that um, and I'm also wearing I've already done the four fingers I'm wearing indigo gel polish here so I'm actually buffing off the top coat so I've got a 180 grit file here so I'm only going to do one finger just to show you so I'll just get the pro tip clip out of the way this is basically just going to help the removal so I'm just going to very lightly just buff off the top coat now I just saw a little bit of shine on that now so that's all you need to do so this is the one that's shiny so ooh, I'm going to see if I can do this on the video so basically you just buff off the top coat like so it doesn't have to be vigorous um, heavy buffing just light just to get rid of the shine 
So as you can see, I've done half of it. Like just to save time, I'm going to do the rest off camera. Okay, so they're all done. And as you can see, I've gone in a bit heavy handed with a couple of those. I don't generally wear a gel polish. I normally wear CND shellac on my nails. So with CND shellac, I don't buff off the top coat. I just go straight in with the removal. This is a gel polish, so I do buff off the top coat. So at this stage, the next step is to grab your Pro Tip clips. And I'm going to start off with my little finger. So I get a little bit of my cloth, of my cotton pad, and I use, and I know you're not going to be able to see this, but I do two pumps of my remover so that my pad, this pad is soaked. Not, it's, it's damp. It's not soaked. It's not dripping, but it is well damp so that the removal process will be um, able to happen without it drying out. So at this stage, I pop on the pad, I fold it over the free edge, I hold it, I get one of my pro tip clips, flat side down, I pop the finger in and I push it right to the end and then that is secure. So that is the way to secure the clip so that it's pressed firmly against the end, wrapped around the nail, over the free edge and tucked underneath. So I'm just going to show you that again. So I'm just doing whoop, my two pumps there. So that's damp. I pop it, actually I can see a bit of shine on that, so we'll see how we go with that one. Sorry if this is a little bit out of focus guys, it's a bit there you go, perfectly focused. It's a little bit, um, I'm a little bit odd trying to do it on myself. So tuck in underneath the free edge, pop the clip on, press it in firmly so that your finger's at the right at the end of it and it's secured. Okay, so just one last time. So I'm just popping my remover on the pad. So you want this totally damp. You don't want it dripping wet. You want it totally damp. So again, oh, this keeps going out of focus. Sorry about that. And there goes my bird. Perfect timing. So on the nail, over the free edge, hold it. Obviously it's a lot easier to do on a client. Pop your pro tip clip on. Push it securely to the bottom and then press down. And I just, it, it feels nice and comfortable. It, there's no, it's not uncomfortable. I've heard people say that these are uncomfortable. I don't think they're uncomfortable at all. I think it stops your client fiddling with things while they are having their removal because you know how clients want to fiddle with their phone if you're using foil wraps they come un unwrapped they can come loose this is a fabulous removal system so i'm going to pop this on a timer for 15 minutes now because i do have cnd shellac no i don't i have cnd brisa light smoothing gel underneath my gel polish so in 15 minutes i will come back i'll just obviously finish wrapping the other two nails first so I'll see you in 15 minutes. Okay, guys, so 15 minutes is up. Now, as you can see, this has never happened to me before, so I am going to show you what's happening underneath. You can see the colour from the gel polish. Now, I've used other gel polishes. I've used the um, CND shellac, and I've never had this happen, so I'm probably going to say that there would be quite a bit of staining. I do have very dry nails because I do have a low, I have a thyroid issue, so my skin is naturally dry. So we're about to see just um, what has happened underneath. So we'll get started with taking these off. Started with my little finger, so I'm going to go back to my little finger. Now I'm going to use a Graham hands down pad just to remove any excess. Also, I'll just show you one of those. So that's the hands down pad. Sorry, I'm just trying to do this with one hand now. So it does have a little plastic backing and it has a little thing that you can hold onto and it's quite a coarse pad. So I'm just going to remove my little finger. So take that off. And as you can see, I should just show you the clip. There is no actual staining on the clip. The clip is perfect. So now these would be sterilized. So I'm going to just take this off to show you. So it has a lot of staining on the towel. Whoops. And I've just thrown my orange wood stick on the floor two seconds. Okay, so it's not as bad as I thought it would be, but as you can see, it has lifted up lovely. It's come off really nicely. So now I'm just going to flake it off and then very, very lightly 
just remove any of the excess bits with my orange wood stick so I'm just putting a little tiny bit of pressure on now please don't freak out if you see any dryness on my nails as I said this is nothing to do with the gel polish this is my thyroid issue I don't want you guys thinking that gel polish or removal has had any bearing on how dry these are this is just how my nails are so I'm going in now with my hand sand pad with a bit of remover on it and I'm just giving it a good rub partially to remove the pink stain partially just to get any little excess bits off so good rub there now there is a little bit of staining because my nails are so dry but we'll go on to the next one so clip number two take it off again have a look in there no staining so that will be sterilized and then lift it off now you can rub with the pad but I just want to show you the effect that you get here so you can actually see it lifting up as I'm talking to you this is what it should look like and it should flake away so depending on the pressure that you've popped on your clip this is how it should go now I have got a little bit stuck here so I'm just going to just very actually I might just go in with my Graham hands down pad and rub rather than scrape it with an orange stick just to see if I can get a little bit more off so you may well find that but it should because if you've got your tension right on your pro tip clips it should just flake off now I've just given that a bit more of a rub and I am just going to very gently just remove that little excess bit there now again my nails are stupidly dry so please don't freak out if it looks horrid so that's just a little bit of the base coat left on there. So I'm just going to give that a good rub. And as you can see, they really have stained this. This is this is not the best um, colour to pick to remove. So as you can see, I really do have pink fingers there. So I'm just going to do one more to show you. Oops, and the little, the little cotton pad stuck inside there. So again, you can see that's really, really lovely. The way it's lifted up and just flakes off so just remove the flaking and then just very gently remove any more with your orange wood stick and it should just flake away so I'm just going to do the where's my pad there it is I'm just going to give that more a bit more of a rub and obviously gel polish is a little harder to remove than CND shellac so you need to be a little bit more patient with it and my nails are horribly dry so I have to be careful with mine so this one is a little bit more stuck than I'd like but that would be probably because I didn't have the tension right on the clip so I'm just scraping away any excess there just make sure that base coat that's all flaked up is off my nail so I will finish that one off camera and I'm just going to remove the other two and then I'll come back and show you my nails. Okay guys, so this is my nails and all I have done is given them another uh, wipe over with my uh, CND Shellac Nourishing Remover. Now you can see there is a little bit of red staining, pink staining, partially due to, I mean I've actually never had staining when I've removed um, my polish before. This is um, the first time so this would be an issue that I have with the indigo and I suspect because my my nails are dry it has stained a little bit. So it's not too bad on them but it is quite bad on my thumb so I just wanted to show you. It has removed the product really well. Now obviously if you have a thick base coat application it's going to be a little bit more difficult to remove now my middle finger I do um, I did have an issue when I was removing it I did have a lot of base coat on there so that was my problem um, I just wanted to show you how well they've turned out there I've got a little bit of delamination on one finger but in terms of them being dry they are dry to the touch they don't look too dry I'm now going to follow up with an IBX treatment because I do have nails that are prone to dryness but I just wanted to show you at the end what my nails actually do sorry guys my phone rang in the middle of all that so of course it cut my video off so this is what my nails do look like there is a little bit of dryness but as I said previously it's definitely not due to the gel polish or the removal it is my Hashimoto's which is a low thyroid level um, I'm really really pleased with the pro tip clips I have been using them 
um, for, for several months now. So I've had a good play with them. I've tried out different types of tissue. I've tried out different types of remover and I'm happy with everything I use. So if you do have any questions for me, pop them in the comments bar below. I will get back to you. Um, I will pop the information that you need to know about the pro tip clips in the description bar if you haven't watched any of my videos before and this is the first time watching please subscribe guys because i've got lots and lots more nail art videos and beauty videos coming up um, if you like the video please give me a thumbs up and i will see you next time okay thanks very much for watching guys bye hi guys i'm just tacking this onto the end of the video this is the day after i removed them um, I removed my gel polish and I've just listened back the video and I have said I have dry nails in at least every segment at least once so apologies now as you can see they're actually not that that, that bad at all there's a tiny little bit of dryness all I've done since yesterday is solar oil before I went to bed and I filed them so as you can see they're really not that bad I just wanted to let you know that this is not a result of the pro tip clips it's not a result of the gel polish I just have a thyroid issue <clears throat> excuse me in a, fro a croaky voice um, the pro tip clips are amazing I highly recommend them if you do have any issues with the types of cotton pads or how to adjust the pro tip clips drop me a comment in the comments box below or if you have any other issues you want to talk about have a chat to me and I'll do my best to help you if I can't I'll pop you in touch with Angela who is the owner of pro tip clips and she will be more than happy to assist you but these are such a great investment you can toss out your wraps, you can toss out your foils, these things are brilliant. So I just wanted to apologise profusely because you'll probably get as, no as annoyed as I did watching it because I said, my nails are dry. A lot. So apologies. Other than that, I hope you liked the video. I hope you found it useful. And thanks very much for watching, guys. Bye.